I will show you three different progress bars that you can do in CapCut and use them in your video. So let's do it! Open CapCut and import your video. We will start with the simplest progress bar. Now if you want to have 10 second progress bar, move your playhead to the 10 second mark, which also works for my case. Go up to text, add default text, drag it to the beginning and stretch it to the 10 second mark. Delete the text and write two times underline. Change the color, scroll down and uncheck uniform scale. Then increase the width and increase the height. Now rotate it to the vertical position and move it to the side. You can also increase the width with arrows if you need to. Right click and create a compound clip. Move your playhead to the beginning. Go to mask, choose horizontal, rotate it like you see on the screen and move the line to the bottom so you don't see the blue line anymore. Click keyframe on position. Then move your playhead to the end of the compound clip and drag the mask to the top. The keyframe will be created automatically. If we play it, we have something like this. Let's proceed with option number 2. We already have a video on our timeline. Move your playhead to the mark on how long you want your progress bar to be. I will have it on 10 second mark. Go up to text, add default text, drag it to the beginning and stretch it to the 10 second mark. Delete the text and write two times underline. Change the color to something like light gray. Scroll down and uncheck uniform scale. Set the width to 470 and height to 370. Drag the line to the lower part of the video. Then with the line highlighted, click Ctrl plus C or Command plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V or Command plus V to paste it and drag it to the beginning. Change the color to this second line and create a compound clip on each line separately. Move the playhead on the beginning and then highlight the second line, go up to mask, choose horizontal and rotate it like you see on the video. Drag the line to the beginning of the progress bar, click keyframe on position, move playhead to the end of the compound clip and then drag the mask to the end of the progress bar and keyframe will be created automatically. We now have second option of our progress bar, so let us see how that looks. What you can also do is highlight both lines, resize it, rotate it and move it wherever you want on your video. Let's create our last progress bar. Again, move your playhead to the 10 second mark, of course if you want your progress bar to be 10 second long. Go up to text, add default text, drag it to the beginning and stretch it to the 10 second mark. Delete the text and write two times underline. Change the color of the line, scroll down, uncheck uniform scale and increase the width and height. Scroll down a bit more, click on stroke, change the color to white and set it to around 8. Now duplicate that line by pressing Ctrl plus C or Command plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V or Command plus V to paste it and move it to the beginning. With the second line highlighted, click V to disable it. Why we did that? Because we need to clean that blue color out of our rectangle. So highlight the first line, right click and create a compound clip. Go up to mask. Choose rectangle and try to shrink it to the size of your bar. Move it down to the bar and try to adjust it so you only see the white stroke. Then go up and click that reverse icon and stretch the mask on the side. That blue color must disappear completely. You can check that if you click outside of the timeline. We gotta have that empty clean rectangle. Then highlight the second line, press V to enable it and turn off the stroke. Right click. Create a compound clip and move the playhead to the beginning of that line. Go up to mask, horizontal, rotate the line like you see on the video 
and drag it to the beginning of the bar. Click keyframe on position, move playhead to the end of the compound clip, then move the mask to the end of the bar and keyframe will be created automatically. Let's see how we did. Looks pretty good to me. You can also do what we did before, highlight both bars, resize it, rotate it and place it wherever you want on your screen. Good job, congratulations! If you enjoyed the video, you will really help me if you hit that like button and subscribe if you don't want to miss my next video.